Roll Call from the United States of America. Americans, here's Mail Call, one big package of words and music and laughter delivered to you by the stars from whom you want to hear. In answer to the request you send to Armed Forces Radio, Los Angeles, USA. Well, we have a star-studded cast for today's program, and to get things started, we take you now to Jack Benny's house in Beverly Hills, California, where we find Rochester with the scissors cutting Jack's hair. Take it away, Beverly Hills. Yes, sir, I'm getting to be a pretty good barber. I'd better take a little more up this side. And a little more up this side. And a wisp off the top. Say, that looks pretty good now. Oh, hello, Rochester. What are you doing? <laughs> Just cut your hair, boss. Put it on. Let's see how it looks. Say, those bangs look awfully cute, especially when I roll my eyes up. No kidding, Rochester. Don't I remind you of Lauren Bacall? Oh, no, boss. Your voice is too high. <laughs> Whatever made you think of Miss Bacall, anyway? Well, tonight is the preview of my new picture, The Horn Blows at Midnight, and I have selected Miss Bacall as the girl who will accompany me. Oh, you want something like the draft board, eh? <laughs> No, it's perfectly voluntary. Of course, I haven't asked Miss Bacall yet. Well, pick up the phone and prepare for her to accentuate the negative. <laughs> Listen, Rochester, what makes you so sure that Lauren Bacall won't go with me to the Carthay Circle tonight? Reason number one, she's in New York. Reason number two, she goes with Humphrey Bogart. Care for another reason? <laughs> hmm. Well, there are plenty of other pretty girls in Hollywood who'll be tickled to death to go with me. Where's my little red book? You mean the one you got from the Lonely Hearts Club? <laughs> Don't be smart. Some wise guy just happened to send in my name for a gag. I know. I mailed the letter. <laughs> all right. But the names in it are all my girls. Let's see who I've got under A. Hmm. Well, let's see who I've got under B. Bryce, Fanny. <laughs> No, no, she's too young. Too young? I always think of her as baby Snooks. <laughs> Let's see, Bergman, Ingrid. I think I'll give Ingrid Bergman a jingle. I don't think the bell's going to toll for you there, boy. <laughs> oh, here's the one, Colbert, Claudette. I'll call Claudette Colbert. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Miss Colbert, please. This is Miss Colbert speaking. Uh, Claudette, uh, this is Jack Benny. Boy, have I got a surprise for you. You have? You mean my umbrella's fixed already? <laughs> no, I haven't had a chance to work on that yet. It's awfully hard to get those metal stays now. Claudette, what I called about was, uh, well, uh, are you doing anything tonight? No. Good. Uh, how about going out with me? Oh, uh, well, uh, I'd like to, Jack, but I've already planned to have dinner at home. Good, good. I'll come by your house for dinner, and then we'll go out afterwards. <laughs> but I, I don't feel like dancing tonight, Jack. I, I'd like to do something quiet, like go to a movie. Say, that's swell. How'd you like to go to the preview of my new picture? Well, I'd, I'd rather go to a talkie. Come on, Claudette. The least you can do is go out with a service man. Oh, are you in the Army? No, Navy. Last war. <laughs> Gosh, a fella gets lonesome. You mean to say you haven't had a date since 1917? No. Oh, yes, yes, but i I got to get a date tonight. How about it? Oh, there are lots of other girls. Some other time, hmm, Jack? Okay. Hmm. 
I'll drop in for dinner anyway. <laughs> you will? Certainly. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, well, I know who I'll call. Let's see. Paulette Goddard. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to speak to Miss Goddard, please. This is Miss Goddard speaking. Uh, hello, Paulette. This is Jack. Well, Jack who? I know a lot of Jacks. Which one is it? Well, take a guess. Well, let's see. Uh, Jack Adams, Jack Ainsworth, Jack Alexander, Jack Baker, Jack Barton, Jack Carson. Wait, Jack... wait, you passed me. <laughs> This is Jack Benny. Oh, Jack Benny. Well, I'm awfully glad that you called, Jack, and do call again. Goodbye. <laughs> Just a minute. You didn't even find out what I want. Jack, I've talked to my mother, and I've practically pleaded with her, but she just won't go out with you. I don't want a date with your mother. I want you. Well, tell me, what, what, what did you want to do, Jack? Take me out to dinner? Uh, no, Paulette, I have an engagement for dinner. But I thought that after dinner... <laughs> you'd like to go to the preview. Uh, after dinner, you'd like to go to the preview of my new picture with me. Well, uh, well, I'll tell you what, Jack. How about uh, my going to the preview of your next picture with you? Oh, but that may be a year from now. Oh, at least. Hmm. <laughs> well, thanks, Justice St. Paul. And if you change your mind, let me know. I will. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> See, oh, I know who to call. Jinx Falkenberg. I met her at a tennis tournament last week. <laughs> Hello, I'd like to speak to Jinx, please. This is Jinx speaking. Jinx, this is Jack Benny. I've got a surprise for you. You have? Yes, you're going out with me tonight. Jack, after running around a tennis court all day, I'm tired out. That's the way I like a girl. No resistance. <laughs> oh, some other time, Jack. But I do want to thank you for putting that new gut in my tennis racket. I went all over and, and couldn't get my racket fixed. Oh, I've got more guts than anyone in town. <laughs> I do repairing for all the big players. Well, thanks for calling, Jack. And, and if I don't get in touch with you, please don't get in touch with me. Oh, I won't. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Look, what about our date tonight? Well, Jack, I don't know you very well. And, and to tell the truth, I'm a little bit afraid of you. All right, bring your tennis racket with you. If I get fresh, smash me. Oh, it's too, it's too involved, Jack. Let's just drop it. All right. But I'll bet the next time you bust a gut, you'll be glad to see me. Huh? <laughs> Goodbye, Jinx. Goodbye, Jack. Boy, am I all in. <clears throat> oh, well, I've got to take my tuxedo downtown to be pressed. Where's the tuxedo, Rochester? There it is, boss. Right there on the chair. Stop crying. I'll get a date. I'll be back in an hour. <laughs> While Jack is uh, taking himself to the cleaners, here's the smart set for the bright musical interlude. I love to roam out yonder where the buffalo As the eagle flying, I'm roping and a tying. I'm roping and a tying. Tying. Give me my ranch and my cattle. Far from the great city's rattle. Give me a big herd to battle. For I just love herding cattle. Just give it 
give us a ranch with plenty of cattle. Where we can yippee eye, yippee eye, yippee eye, yaddle to the cattle. We want to go where the men sing baritone. Get along, get along, little pony. Get along, little pony. And just in case you dig our lingo, swing out, Mr. Gringo, on the 